So I had a haircut yesterday, and it's always awkward filming a video the day after of having a haircut, because I have no idea how you peeps are going to react. Well, hello there. But sadly for many transgender teens, they don't have an option about having their hair cut. And that is what today's topic is all about. Play the transgender topic intro. <laughs> Hello everybody and today we're talking about how to get your parents to get you a haircut of which is where you go from long hair to short hair. Now this video is aimed for the people who have long hair and want to cut their hair to be fairly short. Preferably if you're not out to your parents. But for me I'm going to be using FTM language. But do know if you are non-binary or gender fluid or whatever this video will still apply to you. So without further ado let's jump straight into excuse. Number one. Climate. The climate differs wherever you are in the world. But wherever you live, unless it's like the Arctic or Antarctica, you should always have four seasons. Or at least two. One being winter and the other being summer. Now if summer is coming up, you could always use the excuse that it's too hot. But as well as using temperature to your advantage, you can also use weather. For example, if you live in England and it rains pretty much every day, you could always complain about the water getting in your hair and it just causes issues and stuff. There are quite a few options when it comes to talking about climate. Eyesight. Using eyesight as an excuse is another great example of something that has many different options. But it works best if you're a fairly active person or someone that does a lot of sports in general. Now I'm not saying to join your local football team, but having some sort of sports behind you will help you dramatically when using this excuse. But even when it comes to editing videos and you have long hair, it can be very inconvenient. So again, you can use any activity, sports being on the better end of that activity spectrum, as an excuse to be able to get shorter hair. Annoyance. Now if you have hair which is longer than the majority of human beings, then you may want to use annoyance excuses. May it be when it comes to washing your hair and it takes forever to dry. Or may it be so long that it gets in the way when you're trying to sleep. Or may it even be when your hair is so thick that you start sweating due to it. Is that a thing that actually happens? Just filming these videos I break a sweat. <laughs> Annoyance excuses work a lot better if your hair is longer, but that's not to say that they won't work if your hair is like my length. You should have seen the look on my face when they removed two inches of my hair. <sighs> Charity. 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 If the other three have failed, then charity should help. You could either donate all your hair to charity, or even hold a fundraiser where you shave your entire head. Just picture that conversation when your parents say no that you can't help a charity. Do you really want parents if they're gonna say no to that sort of thing? <laughs> If you live here in the UK, then Cancer Research UK is probably the best charity to look into. They support people who shave their head for charity. If you get them involved, then your parents will definitely have a hard time saying no. If you're in the position where your parents have said no to getting your hair cut, remember that it is your hair after all. I wouldn't advise cutting it yourself. At least get a friend to do it. And after all, if your parents don't like you having short hair, they really can't do much about it. It would probably take about three years to grow up back to the length that you had it before cutting it. That's if you had average length hair to start with. And if you get harmed as a result of you getting short hair, do make sure you tell an adult that you do trust. But thank you so much for watching and remember the ways to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you peeps in the next video. Fingers crossed that I have better hair by then. And when I say better, I hope the colours faded a little bit. I got told not to wash my hair until Monday. It's not even 7 o'clock in the a.m. on Sunday. I've just realised it's Remembrance Sunday as well. <sighs> so on that note, goodbye. Bye, bye, see you tomorrow.